Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today I'm gonna do a short review. I'm gonna do a, a comparison between uh, these two heavyweight companies. Uh, if you've been in the electrical field for a long time here in the U.S., um, some you know some people abroad know about them. Uh, the Klein Tools has been around for a long time. Also, Ideal Industries has been around for a long time. And the reason why I'm doing a comparison between the two, this is Klein's new product, the, con the continuity testing tester and um, vo uh, continuity and voltage uh, tester. And this is new to the market. This is Ideal Industries uh, version of their uh, voltage tester, continuity tester. And I just want to do a comparison between the two. Uh, you know, I've, I just recently purchased uh, purchased this one, this Ideal Industry. This 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 client been around me, for, I guess, a year now. Uh, if if maybe a little bit less, I'm not sure, but uh, I've had it for a little while now, a couple of months, and I had this one only for about a week now, uh, if that. So uh, I've, I've I've used this in the past. Uh, mainly, I use it around the house, and um, it worked fine. It's really small, you know. I I like the size of it. It's you know you put it in your pocket and. And uh, it's small to get the thing, you know, get the jobs done. I have several continuity testers, and I'll be doing uh, videos, comparisons between uh, them also. I've done one recently, but I want to do a one on one uh, so I can kind of like itemize the features between the two. Now, uh, this ideal one that just came on the market. Um, I've, I've, I've used this recent since, since I've had it with me and uh, I gotta tell you I like it and I you know I, I, I like the client too until uh, and I like I have several more like I said I have a, um, a Milwaukee one and I have a fluke and I have an Ampro all of my nice so but anyway um, just go over some comparison of, the fe of, of features and um, you know which one that I would uh, prefer and you know, let you make your decision if you're going out to buy you one and you're, you know, if you're in the market of one of these little uh, testers, it may be help you make your choice. Okay, starting off with this client, this client have, it, it has, uh, what features? They have voltage, a, voltage ACDC measurements, they have a GFI, GFCI tester, it has a backlight. Wait, let me turn it on now. Oh, it's on already. I'm sorry. It's 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 this daylight where I where, where I'm at where I am, and it's lights on. But it's 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 on. I don't know if you guys can see that, I'll turn it off. Yeah, it's on. Pretty bright, you know, under pretty bright when you're in the dark area, dimly lit, dimly lit area. It's pretty bright. Okay, and I have a a work light, and I think that's pretty neat too. Um, they have a the little slot for your leads. And uh, it takes, uh, I think it's three AA batteries, I believe. Yeah, I think it's three AA batteries. Um, just to be on this, to show you what I'm, I know, I know what I'm talking about. Let me open it up. I know the ideal takes three. Let me. I think it's three, three AA batteries. But just to be on the, just to be sure. <clears throat> what kind of review would it be if I can't give you the correct information, right? So let me see what it, what it really takes. Yeah, it was three, no, three AAA, I'm sorry. Three AAA batteries. And, um. As far as the test leads go, it's well as it's well as expected. You know, this don't cost much, but I think about forty something dollars. And uh, the test leads, you know, is what you expect for a forty dollar meter. You won't get top of the line like uh, Pro Master, uh, uh, or Pomona, or some you know other lead type heavy, um, real expensive leads. But you know, these serve the purpose. But what I do like about this this little instrument is let me just show you something 
okay? When I'm measuring, if you're measuring the receptacle or whatever, um, what I like about it is you can put the leads in there, like so. And the way they have them spaced out, you know, you don't have to. It's not, it, it, it fit directly into this receptacle right here. Take these caps off. And it fits right into the receptacle. And there you go. You feel you see it? it? Fits right in. And that's, you know, that's pretty neat. You don't have to just, just to, you know, you don't have to hold with two hands. You just basically put them in there. And if you're testing receptacles, there you go. So I like that feature. That's really nice. So, um, you know, I give this, this little unit, if I had to rate it on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, I would give it a 10. You know, maybe a 9 point, uh, and I'll tell you what, I'll give it a 9, not a 10. Uh, I'll give it a 9.5, I guess, 9.5, because it does everything that it said it can do. Um, let me see. This is a, I think this is a, Oh, it's an AFCI. It won't trip that, I don't think. It won't trip the AFCI breaker. Let me see. Shit, that's what I hate. This is kind of breaker. I mean, a receptacle. There you go. trip it. It won't trip the AFCI breaker. And I have an AFCI here because I was doing the, uh, the experiment and, uh, and the review. That's why I have that there. But um, yeah, I'll give it about a 9.5. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Now, uh, this, amp, uh, this is uh, just ideal industry. My, I'm sorry, the model number for this one, for the, and I'll leave it in the bottom of the uh, description. Also, if y'all are for the model number, but uh, the model number for this little tester here is the ET250 voltage tester, uh, category five, category four, um, 620 volt. Uh, now this one, by the Ideal Industries, uh, that's new to the market. It's a real nice tester also. It has a lot of features. Uh, remember, this only have, uh, let me see features. I'm going to say uh, AC, DC, that's two. You have a GFCI, that's three. You have a flashlight, which is four. Backlight, five. So I'm going to say I have five features on this one. And this is like 40 bucks. Okay? Uh, this ideal industries model number 61 dash five six five seven. No, I'm sorry, uh, six one dash five five seven, and it's rated for IP forty two, and this is rated IP fifty three. Um, so, and this is category for six hundred volts also. I like I, I like this one also. I like the little rubberized housing around here, protective housing. And I don't know if you can see it. Uh, if I hold it like if I hold it like this, you really can't see any, any of the buttons because if you drop it this way, it's gonna hit all around here. So that's that's good. This one, uh, it doesn't have a protective holster around it. And, the, and the, the buttons here kind of recess too, but I'm wondering if this plastic will crack because you don't have uh, any kind of uh, protective, uh, you know, holster around it. But anyway, this this, this Ideal Industries, um, it says it has a 600 count display. It has a non-contact voltage uh, detector. Let's just see if that works. Let's see how they how would I do this? You don't do it like this, do you? 
you may have to put it on it. I think you have to put the you may have to put the leads on. Okay, but let me tell you some of the features before we get into that. This has a GFCI uh, tester on it, voltage AC DC. Also have a low a low Z uh, measurement on here. It has continuity measurement. It has uh, a flashlight and a backlight. Yeah, this is nice. Let me show you the. Let me show you the. That's the backlight, guys. That's the backlight. Has a flashlight. Okay. Um, has a non-contact voltage, and so that's. Let's see how many features it has. That this that's this one that that client doesn't, and this one costs about forty dollars also. The GFCI is one volts AC DC. I'm gonna go that's that's three because I same thing as three. Continuity four, flashlight five, backlight six, non-contact voltage. Uh, uh, I lost my count. GFCI wait GFCI one, voltage AC DC, uh, continuity, uh, flashlight, backlight. Non-contact voltage at seven so far, and there's a hidden feature uh, that I just so happened to had to I, I had to use one of the Klein uh, accessories to make it work. I, I don't know if Ideal have uh, have one just for this model, but the Klein's work perfectly. Those of you who have a Klein magnetic strip, a, ma a magnetic strap that fits on the back of their meters. Uh, I, I blued this on the back of here because it, it, it fit perfectly, but it was kind of loose. It fits loose. So I, I have no intention on taking it off. So I put some glue on here, and I'm using Klein. Uh, this is a Klein accessory right here. This is the um, this is a strap with the, mag with the magnet on the back. And, it, and they, they have this little slot that fits this, that fits this, Klein, um, this Klein strap perfectly. So... So I won't lose it, and it'll be on there always, because it, it's not in the way, that's why, it wouldn't be in the way, that's why I, I glued it on here, the way it does. It just slides right in there, and I'm telling you guys, it fits perfectly. But anyway, uh, anyway, um, so, it, and it has a hanging strap. So that's eight features for 40 bucks, when you only get one, two, three, five features for 40 bucks. Uh, now, one of the features that I told you that I liked that this one had was the way you can just put the probes in here and put them inside the receptacle. Now, the ideal, let's see um, how we can do it with this one. Okay. Um, let's see. So these have the little protective shroud also, so these probes. So you take those off. I thought, I thought, I must have done off already. Anyway. Hmm. I must have lost that one. Anyway, guys. Um, his own votes. So let's see how this one goes. There you go, same thing. So the feature that I love about the Klein, I can do the same thing with an ideal. So I don't have to tell you which one that I would pick because I, I think you know already. Uh, you get more for the, you're gonna get more bang for the buck with this one than you do the Klein. But if you have a Klein already, you know, just I guess you can just keep it unless you just want to change out and buy another one. Uh, but uh, the idea would be my pick out of these two. Uh, so let me see. Back in here, 
I must have lost my other cap up here. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There we go. Well, anyway, guys, I want to thank you, as always. You know, you know, you, you know. Another thing, you can leave them up there if you guys just leave them up there. But I, I hate to leave them exposed. I have them like this because the tips are exposed. So I will put them like in the, I guess where they're supposed to go, uh, like toward the bottom right here. So that's where that will go. And I think that's neat. It's really neat. Now the client has one too. So you can just, if you just want to, you know, put them back where they belong. So that's, you know. So if you have the client, guys, I just want to keep that, keep the client. If you, uh, but this has more features and give you, the idea have more features, features and they give you more bang for the buck. So that's my choice. This is the winner out of those two. Thank you guys for watching. And if you benefited from this, uh, if you benefited from this, 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 this review, and uh, you know somebody else who could, I want you to want you to share this video. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment, okay? And if you like my channel, before you subscribe, check it out. Check out the rest of my videos. And if it, if, if the channel appeals to you, well, go on and subscribe. You know, and uh, get in the mix with the rest of us. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear your stories too. Not just about this, but you know, it's uh, doing your career as as as, as an electrician, and um, you can just comment on some of the things that we've been that I've been reviewing. Okay, guys, thank you. Until next time, peace out and take care.